Howdy folks, this is Checkers back again with another episode of our Fallout 4 Let's Play, this time with episode 117, ringing in the new year of 2017. Happy New Year to you all, and uh, we are here at the Red Rocket. We were last at the Railroads Underground Sanctuary, where we completed a mission with Deacon. Basically, I feel like we paid them off for decoding our Courser chip. Now we are back on course to build our signal interceptor, but we are going to make a few changes to our own personal loadout. Most of them I've already completed, but I figured we'd put the last finishing touches on together. So first we need to come in here and scrap a few things. I took an extra point in scrapper using up my very last available perk point for the moment, which is something I almost never do. But we need screws and aluminum quite badly at the moment. So we are going to rip a considerable amount of things apart. Okay, and mainly I've been working on this plasma infused advanced assault rifle. So we now have an advanced receiver which bumped our damage up from 81 to 93 put in a quick eject drum magazine, a short recon scope, and a suppressor. Now what we're going to do is switch to a long barrel, extending our range from 89 to 173. Okay. And that is our fancy new plasma infused advanced assault rifle. We're going to exit the station here. And then we're going to come right over here. One of the advantages of working with the railroad is getting their extremely cool railroad paint scheme for the T-51 power armor. So I put that together on this set of T-51, but we have a few changes left to make. We're going to put some calibrated shocks in so that we can have more carry weight. Okay, and then we're going to come out to our helmet and swap our headlamp with a bright headlamp. Okay, and then we can exit the station and we will enter our power armor. I left the fusion core in, something I don't normally do, but since we were right here the whole time. There we go. Now we can move around. We have got 435 weight to play with. We're going to come over to our special weapons desk here, drop off the deliverer since we don't have resources for it, and this explosive calibrated powerful sniper rifle. And then, because we have our cool new newly at least a tired assault rifle let's come over here we can drop off our junk get our weight down a little bit more and now we're going to head over to sanctuary i to close the door again i opened it up while we were working i really need to get back here and up the defenses same with sanctuary but the let's play character here is always on the move i i don't like doing things without you guys i don't know why i guess i just feel like you know this is the character for us to spend our time together but i also feel like you know just simple building episodes would be dull if you think differently let me know in the comments but um anyway we're going to do some building here to get our signal interceptor going. I think we have a very nice building spot in the back. We just have to avoid Preston like the plague. We did a mission for him. We helped the Abernathys out. And I think as long as we keep our distance, he won't run up and tell us about the 12 other settlements that he's found recently that need our help. 
It's nothing major, just some death calls, rebuilt the battleship, and they are totally pounding on Abernathy's farm. Other than that, these are the 12 other things I've got for you. Okay, let's see. Stabilized reflector platform. Okay, we'll line that up, say right there. And okay, I guess we have to talk to Sturgis. So let's get on that while Nick does his own little bayonet charge. Affix bayonets. Okay, Nick is going to play with his bayonet while we look for Sturgis. Okay, Sturgis. There we go. Oh, Pip Boy, what would we do without you? How's it going? Did you find a good spot to build your signal interceptor? I put it right next to your bed. You don't think it'll like scramble your brain or anything, do you? Yeah. Ready to build the rest of it. Good. I think I got a handle on this crazy contraption. At least as much as I can tell. Uh, until we actually try to build it, here's well, a list of three things that may be harder to find. We are building I think it. I'll be able to pull together everything else we're going to need. I'll meet you over at the building site and see if we can actually make this thing work. Okay, well, thanks. Thanks, Sturgis. I'll get right on this. Good deal. One thing to keep in mind while you're building this, it all needs to be wired together so all the pieces can talk to each other. I'll see you over at the building site. Wait a minute. Good luck. You didn't say anything about wiring it together. This is how the Cylons rose to power. Most folks are just looking for a hand. I'm pretty sure, like, Nick is second cousin to a Cylon, so... Anyway... Let's see what we need to build next. Why are there three doors on our compass? These questions and many more may be answered. Okay, stabilized reflector plant. Yeah, special. No, that's what... Okay, there we go. Control console. We need a biometric scanner. Molecular beam emitter. We need a military grade circuit board. I think we might have that at the rocket Relay dish we could build right now. Let's see the Institute's probably around that direction yeah, About like that maybe Okay So we need military grade circuit board and biometric scanner, okay Hmm. Nick, Nick, come on over here for a second, buddy, would you? No, no, not, not, not over there. See, if we could just restore that pickup truck. Oh, Preston's coming. Quick, Nick, make like a tree. And leave. Okay. Hey, I'm listening. Um, trade. Hey, Let's see what Nick is carting around. A single 45 round. Oh, you crack me up, Nick. Automatic combat shotgun. Laser pistol, laser rifle, combat rifle. Pipe something or other. A submachine gun. That's cool. Two laser pistols. Pipe. Where are you getting all these pipe weapons, Nick? Another one. Oh, Nick, I have had you laden down for a long time. There's your bayoneted weapon. We won't take that from you. We're going to take that one, though. Um, and you can keep your security baton. Let's go scrap these. I doubt we'll get anything that we need, but, you know, we'll at least have some extra stuff here. Oh, wait, we need to punch out of this. And grab that. Anything I can lug for you? Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Automatic combat shotgun, automatic laser pistol, laser rifle, combat rifle, pipe thing. Oops. Laser pistol, laser pistol, pipe weapon, pipe weapon, short combat rifle. 
Let's press 45 pipe pistol. Okay, we are back down to our regularly scheduled loadout and we have some more stuff. We need, we need biometric scanner and a military circuit board. So let's see what we've got back over at the rocket. Maybe we can save ourselves some scavenging runs if I have collected enough goodies over time. Gunfire. Oh. The rocket's under attack. Well, I guess we get to try out our new plasma infused super mutant killing. Okay, okay, okay. Did they get into my... Look at that. He got all the way in here. Taking your laser pistol. Oh, and by the way, your body. Hmm. Okay. We need to take out the trash, guys. Sorry. Super mutants. Get out of there. Nick, Nick, I'm trying to take out the trash. Don't block the door. Uh. There we go. Can't leave this place alone for a second. Really do need to work on those defenses. Oh yeah, what did you have? 13, 38 rounds. What about the goo pile over here? Bottle cap, 838 rounds. Fragmentation grenade. Mutant hound meat. Well, on the plus side, everybody seems to have survived. Let's come over here to our workbench. We need a biometric scanner. Hey, we have one. Okay, and we need a military grade circuit board. Let's hope we still have some of those around. <laughs> we have 20. Outstanding. Okay. You know what? I bet you I am carrying a bunch of mods. There we go. Okay, now let's close the door and head on back over to Sanctuary. Darn super mutants. That'll learn ya. Reload. Nice quick eject drum magazine, I have to say. Very Vickers Maxim looking device this whole assault rifle dealio. It's a shame you can't revolve around your character while your weapon is out. At least easily. Okay. Do a little cleaning as we go. Kind of like some of the old homey touches like the jack and stuff. This stuff can go. And a stump. Okay. 
Okay, so we need to build our control console. Oh, let's see, I'm out right here. And then a thing. Oh, it goes right on top of there, does it? All right then. Now we need power. How much power do we need? 20, 21, 23. What about this thing? I don't know, maybe it doesn't require power. No, it requires 528. So we need 28 power. And in generators, we can produce three of these. If we, ha we don't have science four, and we don't have enough nuclear material or crystal, but we can make three large generators. So, one, two, three. Let's daisy chain everything together here. Okay. And there we go. Looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Um, sure. Oh, actually, let me wait. What? Uh, one second. Yeah, that's cool. I'll keep tuning this baby. Although we won't know if it's going to work until we actually try it. Yep, yep. I just am carrying way too much stuff to be going anywhere new. And let's head on over here and store all of our junk. And then we will head back on over there and see what Sturgis has in mind. This is completely safe, right Sturgis? Everything looks good on my end. Wait a minute. To see if this thing actually works. Sure. Test first. We test it first? I wish we could, but we've only got the one frequency code. There's no way to test it without actually jacking into the Institute signal. And as soon as we do that, we've used our one and only chance. As soon as the Institute figures out what we did, and I gotta believe those Brainiacs won't be caught napping twice, that code we've got is useless. <sighs> okay, well... Let's do this. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an Institute signal to lock onto. Then... I fire her up, and we see what happens. Okay, well... I'm ready when you are. My gun disappeared, so I'm guessing okay. something's about to happen. Hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. I, uh, by the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. Yeah, it, this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. And don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh, just there for decoration. Sweet. Okay. Scanning for the Institute signal. Tracking RF. And... Got it. Hold on to your butt. All right. Um, I swear I heard music. Down into stealth, because you know that's going to matter. Get the light on. The light is green, the trap is clean. We've been detected by what? Okay, I don't know the answer to that. Computer terminal use. View access log. Validation, blah, blah, blah. Validation error signal rerouted. Um, 
What did he give? He gave us a holotape. What was it called? Oh boy, I should have paid attention to that. Network scanner? Initiate network scan. Okay, and... Good. Scan complete. Okay. Eject. Eject, eject. Um, do I need to play the tape? No, I already did that, right? Okay, so ejecting tape and weapon out into stealth. We're detected by what? I still can't tell, but we are at time. So take a quick look around. Just make sure there is nobody waiting to ambush us. Actually, this looks like a nice little hidey spot. This looks like a door, oh, but it's not. Okay. So, duct tape, we're going to take that. We've liberated some duct tape from the Institute. Viva la revolution. Okay, so, we'll keep an eye on this position until we return in episode 118. But I think we will find out what's going on next time. Look at all that smoke in there. Got a hazer going. Yeah, that or these scientists smoke like chimneys. All right. So I would like to point out that if you look in the upper right hand corner, you will see a small letter I with a white circle around it. These are cards and links to other videos that I've made. Also, I have a Twitter link in the description of the video and on my channel main page. If you're on mobile, it'll be on my channel about page. I would like to thank you guys for being the best community out there. Truly, you guys are awesome and you make this an absolute joy. I hope you have a very wonderful and fruitful new year. And yeah, I'd also like to thank you for watching. I hope you found the video entertaining and maybe just a little informative. I would like to invite you to subscribe, like and share if you so desire, and ask you above all to please take care.